Hello, everybody. You know, telling stories is one of my favorite things to do. Hey, everyone. Let's gather around for a story. Plex, can you beam me down? Okay. All right, this story is called a fairy tale. <laughs> this fairy tale is called Jack and the Beanstalk. It's about a boy named Jack, a big beanstalk, and a mysterious giant. DJ Lance! DJ Lance! Can I pretend that I'm in the fairy tale? Me too! I want to be in the fairy tale. Sure! Why don't we all pretend we're in the story? That's a great idea! This is going to be so much fun! Once upon a time, there was a boy named Jack who lived with his father in a faraway land. They had a very special machine that would give them all the beans they needed to eat. But one day, the bean machine stopped working. La 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 la! Oh, hi, Dad! Uh, what's wrong? There you are, Jack. Look, our bean machine is broken. So now we don't have any beans to eat. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Jack, I need you to take this bean machine to get fixed. And remember, if we don't get it fixed, then we can't eat. Razzle dazzle! I'll get the bean machine fixed. I love to eat! Don't worry, you can count on me! continued on his journey to fix the bean machine until he came across a mysterious door. Hello there! Where are you going? Hi! I'm on my way to get my bean machine fixed. Do you fix bean machines? Well, not really, but we have something better than a bean machine. Yeah! We have these magic beans! Magic beans? Well, what are magic beans? Magic beans are very special. Yeah! They'll give you whatever you want because they're magic! Magic? Whatever I want? Wow! Can I trade you this broken bean machine for your two magic beans? It's a deal! Now remember, the most important part of magic is believing. Yeah! You have to believe in magic or it won't work. I believe in magic! I believe! Good luck! So wise, took her golden goose. 
How is everyone enjoying the fairy tale so far? So fun! It's great! I love it! I can't wait to see what happens next. What happens next, DJ Lance? We'll just have to wait and see, Broby. Now, where were we? Ah, yes. Jack came running home, very excited about his magic beans. Wow, that was really fast. Is our bean machine already fixed? I have something better than our bean machine. Just look. I traded our broken bean machine for these two magic beans. Jack, these don't even look like magic beans. They're not even big enough to eat. I'm very disappointed that you traded our bean machine for two beans. But, but Dad, those were magic beans! Now, Jack, we're both going to go to bed without dinner. Then tomorrow, we'll have to try to get our bean machine back. Good night now. I thought the beans were magic. I thought they would give us beans to eat forever. Magic beans, magic beans. I almost forgot. It's time for the Super Music Fringe Show to start. Yeah! yeah. Uh, what? Can you make this bigger? Sure! It's a fairy tale song by the Flaming Lips. See if you can be a frog. Can you be a bat? If you can be a lion Can you be a deal monster Can you be a bumblebee Can you be a helicopter See 
listening and dancing to music is awesome! Wow! This is such a great story, everyone! Did you learn? The magic beans grew into sprouts. But what do the sprouts grow into? Great question, Broby. Let's keep reading and find out. As Jack lay sleeping, the beans began to grow and grow until they became a giant beanstalk. Whoa! <laughs> Razzle dazzle! A giant magic bean beanstalk! I believed, and the magic really happened! so big, and it goes all the way into the sky. Hello, Jack. Whoa. Oh, oh hi. It's, it's, it's okay. okay. We're, We're just, just friendly beanstalks. Oh, wow. You look really tall. We sure are, and we're big enough for you to climb up. At the very top, there's a magical place to visit with really friendly people. A magical place? Friendly people? Maybe I could get a new bean machine there. Climb up our beanstalk. The beanstalk, the beanstalk. Climb on up our beanstalk. The beanstalk, the beanstalk. Climbing up to a magic place. Meet new friends and find a new bean machine. Jack climbed and climbed and climbed until at last he reached the top of the clouds and the top of the beanstalk. Look at all these green. machine looked like Jack's broken bean machine, only it was made of gold. Jack loves beans, and he loves gold, so he wanted to take the bean machine home with him. But before he could take it, he heard something off in the distance. I wonder what that sounds from. Be fi fo fum Now this isn't very fun. Be fi fo fum A big, big giant, oh my! Be fi fo fum I can't look, I better hide. Be fum fo fum What a nice day in my magic place with my giant friends and my golden bean machine. <laughs> the giant was looking the other way, so Jack decided to take the golden bean machine back home with him. This is my chance. I'll just take this golden bean machine and hurry home. I'll take this bean machine fast. The giant there will sneak past. Climbing down the beanstalk. The beanstalk, the beanstalk. Climbing fast, I can't walk. You can't walk, you can't walk. Be five, four, four. I smell someone really small. Be five, four, four. Where's my golden bean machine? Hey, my bean machine is missing. Oh, no. I gotta follow that beanstalk. The golden bean machine is my best friend. What a great day. Went to a magic place with giant things and got a new bean machine. Yeah! I got the golden bean machine. Now we can eat beans forever. Hooray! My name is Cherie. Everyone, today we're going to do the DJ Lance dance. So everyone stand up. Come on, let's dance. Now today, we're going to climb the beanstalk. Here we go. Put your arms up very high, then pull yourself up to the sky. We're going to climb the beanstalk. We're going to climb the beanstalk. Climb the beanstalk. We're going to climb the beanstalk. Put your arms up very high, then pull yourself up to the sky. We're gonna climb the beanstalk. We're gonna climb the beanstalk. Yeah! All right! Did you Lance? Why did Jack take the gold bean machine? Maybe he thought he could eat the gold beans, Broby. But you can't eat gold. Let's read the rest of the story and see what happens. 
Jack was really excited that he had the gold bean machine and Tully heard a giant sound on the beanstalk. Fee, fi, fo, fam! Oh no! The giant! What do I do? What do I do? Whoa! This beanstalk's too small for a giant like me! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> that was really fun! Now where's my golden bean machine? Oh! There you are, my favorite golden bean machine! Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, here you go, Mr. Giant. Thanks! Hey, what's going on out here? Oh, wow, hello! Who are you? I'm just a friendly giant. I was looking for my golden bean machine down here, and this boy took it! Jack, did you take that gold bean machine from this nice giant? Uh, there was this beanstalk, and, uh, and, 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 and then there were magic, and then it grew, and we were hungry, and there were these gold beans, and they sparkled, and, and, and... Jack, you can tell us what happened. It'll be okay. Okay. I took the magic bean machine. It wasn't mine, and I took it. I'm really, really sorry, though, and I know never to take other people's things. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. things without asking! Okay! It was not mine, so I should not take it. Let's work this out. We can forgive one another. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so, I'm so sorry. We can fix it. We can make it better. Yeah! <laughs> Jack, you can't even eat golden beans. They're too hard to chew, and they taste terrible. Well, I guess you're right. Well, they just look so shiny. Well, look around you. You don't need a bean machine. This beanstalk has enough beans to last a long, long time. Wow, <laughs> you're right. Sure, we, we have, have plenty of beans, beans on here. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Jack learned that you shouldn't take things that aren't yours. His dad was proud of him for giving the bean machine back to the giant. And everyone lived happily ever after. The end. there? Banana. Banana who? Banana split. So I screamed. Knock, knock, joke of the day. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, Let's remember all the fun things we did today! Yeah! First, we read a fairy tale where Jack traded his bean machine for magic beans. Can I trade you this broken bean machine for your two magic beans? It's a deal! Then, Jack was sad because he thought the magic beans weren't magic. I thought the beans were magic! I thought they would give us beans to eat forever! Then, the beans grew into a beanstalk. This is so big! Finally, Jack was sorry that he took the giant's bean machine, so he gave it back to him. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, here you go, Mr. Giant. All right. Today sure was an exciting day. Yeah! Now it's time to dance! Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down.
playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba! Everyone, today is a great day to go on a treasure hunt with new friends. It looks like some new treasure hunting friends are starting to arrive. Wow! We're in Gabba Land. Look, it's Plex, Edith, Larry. What a surprise! It's great to see you again, Plex. Yeah, it's been a while since you visited us. It sure has. Edith and Larry, this is my friend Muno. Hi! Hello. Hello. So, what brings you to Gabaland? This special compass is leading us on an important journey. It's leading us on a treasure hunt. A treasure hunt? Wow! That sounds like fun! A treasure hunt, you say? What kind of treasure are you looking for? Uh... We don't know exactly what it is, but we do know it's really important. Yeah, it's a treasure we need back home for everyone to share. Oh, I wonder what the treasure could be. Yes, I wonder. Treasure could be something different for everyone. The treasure could be anything. A treasure, 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 what could it be? It's different for everyone. A treasure, treasure. Let me think of what my treasure could be. Treasure! It could be electricity. Treasure could be flames. It could be when it rains. The treasure could be golden coins or a box of games. Yeah! The treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become. I know what my treasure could be. Seeds. It could be two fairy coins or diamond rings. Yeah! Treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become. I think I know what the treasure is. The treasure could be a giant hand. The treasure could be food. Could be a piece of wood. It could be a tennis shoe or a giant bat of goo. Treasure, treasure, treasure is It's gonna be exciting! Yay! Yay!
my name is Mark, and today we are going to draw a treasure chest. First, we draw the shape of the chest like this. See, there we go. Now, let's draw the lock. That's looking pretty good. Seems like we're missing something. Oh, a key. Gotta have a key to open the lock. Let's draw one of those too. There. Hey, let's see what's in this treasure chest anyway. Oh, the treasure. It's so beautiful. Well, thanks for drawing with us today. See you later. Whoa. I love going on treasure hunts. It looks like everyone's ready to start their own treasure hunt. This sure is exciting. Hey everyone, these are our new friends, Edith and Larry. Hello. Hi. They're here on an important treasure hunt. A treasure hunt? A treasure hunt? A treasure hunt. Yeah, we have this special compass to help us find the clues. Uh -huh. All right. <laughs> and because you live here, we really need your help to find the treasure. We love to help. I'm good at finding things. You can count on us. So, when should we start? Right now. be here somewhere. Let's think about all the clues. Well, Mr. Flower said it was this way. And Gobo said it was in an ice cave. We're really close. I can feel it. Hey, everybody. You know, I've got a strange keyhole on my side down there. Let's press it. It's a key! <gasps> Try it in the lock! <laughs> we found the ice cave! Yeah! I can't wait to find the treasure! to do the DJ Lance dance. Come on, let's dance. Now today, we're 
you're gonna dig for treasure. Put your foot down, dig to the side. Dig to the other side, throw the dirt. Put your foot down, dig to the side. Dig to the other side, throw the dirt. We're gonna dig for treasure. Yeah! Put your foot down, dig to the side. Dig to the other side, throw the dirt. We're gonna dig for treasure. We're gonna dig for treasure. Yeah! All right! Hey everyone! The Super Music Friends Show is on! Here's Blitzen Trapper with an all time classic, Treasure. to music is awesome! Wow, this really is exciting. They found the secret ice cave. Hmm, I wonder what the treasure could be. Another magic robot. Why, yes, I am a magic robot, and I have the tre tre treasure that you seek. Wow! But where is the treasure? You will receive the treasure after a special dance is performed on this floor. Special dance? Yes. Only those who know the special dance can receive the tre treasure. Uh, does anybody know any special dances? Edith and Larry, show us your special dance. Let's do it! Ow! Step to the left. Step to the right. Wave your arms. Wave your arms. To the body roll. To the body roll. Step to the left. Step to the right. Wave your arms. Wave your arms. To the body roll. To the body roll. It's a trick. Uno, Tuni, Fufa, and you too, Broby. We need your help to dance. Yeah! Now it's time to step to the left, step to the right. Wave your arms, wave your arms. Do the body roll, do the body roll. Step to the left, step to the right. Wave your arms, wave your arms. Do the body roll, do the body roll. It's a treasure dance. It's a treasure. Still need more help. Oh. 
help who we're missing. Let's get this party started. Now it's time to it's dance. dance. It's the treasure dance. for helping us find the treasure. We couldn't have done it without you. Finding treasure with you has been super spectacular! Now you can bring the bubbling robot back and share it with all your friends. I'm so happy to get out of this ice cave. It's a little too cool for me. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was a beautiful green village deep in the rainforest. One rainy day, a magical organ was discovered that the townspeople decided to play. The sound of the magical organ turned the raindrops to gems of every color. The gems fell to the ground for everyone to have. It's a miracle, they said, and the town is filled with excitement. On rainy days, the organ could be heard all through the town. Everyone had a buckets and pans to catch the gems falling from the sky. The farmer was not happy about any of this. Rainwater is better than jewels, he said. Pretty soon, the town began to change. The leaves on the trees turned brown and fell off because plants can't survive without rainwater. But the townspeople couldn't stop collecting gems. One day, the town ran out of fruits and vegetables to eat, and everyone started to get hungry. The townspeople went to ask the farmer for help. I knew this would happen, said the farmer, but he opened up his greenhouse, and everyone was shocked to discover that while they're collecting jewels, he was growing fruits and vegetables enough for everyone. The townspeople thanked him and realized that rainwater was a treasure because it grows yummy food to eat. The end. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go! Aww. But first, Let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay. First, Plex and Muno met new friends, Edith and Larry. And together, they imagined what the treasure might be. Treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become. Then, everyone joined together to find the treasure. Finally, they all did a special dance and discovered the treasure was Vor, a magic robot. The treasure is me. Whoa. A humble blowing robot. Yeah. yeah! What a magical day. Yeah. yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. A treasure, 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 what could it be? It's different for everyone. A treasure, treasure, treasure is anything. I wonder what it could become.
had a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba! Hello, friends! Today we are going to have fun with our little friends, the bugs. I like bugs, and I know someone who really likes bugs. His name is Muno. Let's go see him. Hey! Hello, Mr. Cactus. Hello, Mr. Muno. Uh, who is that? Oh, this is my little cousin, Alberto. Say hello, Alberto. Hello, Mr. Muno. Hi! Uh, have you guys seen any bugs? Oh, yeah. I've seen lots of them today. There's a whole bunch of bugs. They're all over that way. You should go check it out. Oh, cool! Thanks! I love bugs! Yeah, we know. Take it easy, Muno. What the? A Brazzle Dazzle! Hello, Muno! Hey, Fupa! What's going on? Look at all these new bugs! Yeah! Isn't it beautiful? So all the new plants and flowers are coming out to play. And where there are plants and flowers, there are always bugs. Awesome! Is it springtime? Yeah, because I see lots of bugs. Me too! I can see bees and butterflies and grasshoppers and ants and beetles. Yeah, Muno. You sure do love bugs. But, but why do you like bugs so much? You want to know why I like bugs? Well, I love bugs because they're so little, but they can do so much. I love bugs. Make my own web hang upside down. 
my name is Mark, and today we are going to draw an ant farm. An ant farm is a cool place where ants hang out and make tunnels in the dirt. Ant farms start with a box like this. Yep. Next, let's put some dirt in there. Lots of dirt. Dirty dirt. Okay, that's a box full of dirt. And oh yeah, we're gonna need some ants. Ants look like three tiny circles with legs. And this ant's gonna need some friends, so let's add some friends. That's how you draw an ant. Ha, so there you have it. An ant farm and some ants. Whoa, hey look, there they go. Go ants, go. Thanks for drawing with us. See you all next time. Hello again. Hey, I want you to meet a friend of mine. This is Mrs. Beetlebomb. She is a beetle, and a beetle is a type of bug. Yes, that's right. Mrs. Beetlebomb, let's check in on our friends in Gabaland. That would be great. Such a nice man. Aww. Hey, everyone, look at the Oski bugs. They're marching. Where did they go? They went into that hole. Look! Oh, oh look at that I wish we were small enough to keep following the Oski bugs. Me too! <sighs> hey, I have an idea! What is it, Muno? I'll show you! Bullocks! Whoa! Hey! What is it, Muno? Blocks! Could you make us small like bugs so we can go down into the hole to see the Oski bugs? Yes. Are you ready? Here I go. Yeah! Yeah! We're small, like little bugs. Thanks, Plex. See you later. Okay, yeah! see ya. Take care. Yeah! Bye now. Yeah! Who are you? My name's Lemony. Hi, I'm Muno. And these are my friends, Fufa, Tootie, and Broby. Sweet, follow me and I'll show you where all the Oski bugs live. Yeah! 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 Follow the Oski bugs, follow the little Oski bugs. Follow the Oski bugs, follow the little Oski bugs. Oski bugs dig these tunnels to fly. The ants and the beetles and worms. Yeah! today. We want to learn all about bugs. Well, okay then. I can show you all around our Oski bug land and teach you a few things. Oh, thank you, Queen. Oh, no need to thank me. Let's go. Oh, yeah! Razzle McDazzle! This is the greatest day of... Oh, uh, because I like bugs.
Thanks. <laughs> Hi kids, my name is Mixmaster Mike, and this is my cool trick. Oh, it's time for school to begin. Three, two, one. It's time to Master Mike, and that was my cool trick. Hey, everybody! Muno, Broby, Fufa, and Tootie met a little Oski bug and followed her into Oski bug land. I wonder what they're doing right now. And this is the greatest, most special room in all of Oski Bugland. This is where all the new Oski Bug babies hatch. Oh, oh wow! wow. <laughs> oh, cool, but when are they gonna hatch already? Wow! They're moving! Yes, they are starting to hatch now. Oh, wow! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're so cute! Oh, so cute! Oh, wow! wow. Muno? Would you like to hold one? Uh, okay. Oh, wow. Look at, he's so small. <laughs> Queen Oski Bug, do all babies come from eggs? No, but some babies do come from eggs, just like baby Oski Bugs. Listen. There are so many beautiful babies and every little bug has babies that all come from eggs. Little baby bugs come from little eggs. Eggs are where the little babies stay warm and grow until they are all ready. Then they hatch and as you can see, little baby bugs come from little eggs. Wow, so cute! Birds lay eggs and frogs lay eggs. Just like you. <laughs> so you see, my friends, from eggs hatch little babies. Whether they are bird eggs or little Oski bug eggs, eggs are special because babies are special. Yeah! There are so many beautiful. Well, thank you all for visiting us. Come on, guys, this way. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. It was great meeting you guys. Come back and play sometime. I will. Thanks, Lemony. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Oh, hey. Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Can you make us big again? 
Yes! Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! <laughs> All right! Bugs are awesome! My name's Joey. This is my sister, Sophia. We like to dance. Hey, everyone! The Super Music Friends Show is on. Here's Weezer with All My Friends Are Insects. I have a friend and it's an earthworm. It burrows underground deep within the soil. Sometimes when it rains, it comes out and we talk about our day. I have a friend and she's a butterfly. She flies from flower to flower, drinking sweet nectar. With hundreds of friends, they sleep up in the trees at night. I have a friend and he's a dragonfly. He sleeps around all day and hovers in the air. He's colorful and wonderful, his wings are strong and powerful. and dancing to music is awesome! Story time! Buzzy the bee was a busy little bee, flying back and forth from flower to tree. He helped the flowers by spreading their seeds and making sure fruit trees had just what they need. Now Kyle the kid was a great kid indeed. He would stroll through the forest, helping creatures in need. Kyle loved flowers. He loved bushes and trees. He loved all the critters, but was so scared of bees. One day, Kyle leaned in to smell a flower so sweet. He opened his eyes, and who did he meet? It was Buzzy the bee at the front of his nose. Buzzy stared back, and Kyle just froze. Don't worry now, Kyle. I will not hurt you. Helping these flowers is what I do. See, bees help flowers grow by moving their seeds. So let me do my job. It's important, you see. Buzzy flew off to get more work done, and Kyle went back to his day in the sun. He had learned so much from his tiny new friend, and that without bees, the plant world might end. If you don't bother bees, then they won't bother you. Just leave them alone because they have work to do. The end. Yo! Hi! It's almost time to go. Aww! But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay! First, Muno told us about what some bugs do. Bees make honey, they don't do it for money. And ants in your bath will surely make you dance. Then, we followed the Oski bugs deep under the ground. Follow the Oski bugs, follow the little Oski bugs. Finally, we met the queen of the Oski bugs and some Oski bug babies. Little baby bugs come from little eggs. All right, today, we bugged out. Yeah! yeah! Now it's time to dance! Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. I love bugs! I love bugs! Bye, 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 bye. I love bugs!
had a great time today. <laughs> Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye. Here we go. Yo, Gabba Gabba. Hello, friends. I love animals. This is my pet rabbit, Flash. He's so cute. Fufa loves animals, too. She's playing with the Fox family right now. Look. Whee! Nice dance move. That was very fun, Fufa. But now it's time for us to go home. Come along, children. It's bath time. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, Fufa. Bye-bye, Fox family. Aww. What's wrong, Fufa? Uh, you look a little sad. Well, I wish I had an animal to take care of. Just like how Mother Fox takes care of her pups. I know. We should give you a pet. What's a pet? A pet is a special animal that belongs to you. Great idea, Plex. My rabbit Flash is my pet. Fufa, would you like a pet, too? Oh, DJ Lance, can I have a pet? Please, pretty please. Okay, okay, Fufa. I know just the thing. But what's all this? Where's my pet? <laughs> I'm giving you a very special pet, Fufa. On that tray are magic eggs. Inside the eggs are... Magic Mokichos. Mokicho! Now remember, you must follow the very important rules to take good care of your pet. Right, DJ Lance. We need to know the rules first before we hatch a special Mokicho egg. Right. Rule number one. You must feed your Mokicho twice a day with only this special Mokicho food. Okay. Rule number two. You must give your Mokicho lots of love and hugs. I will love my Mokicho with all my heart. And rule number three. You should only hatch one Mokicho. I think we are ready to hatch a Mokicho. All right. Now say the magic words. Moki, Moki, Mokicho. Moki, Moki, Mokicho. That you have your Moki Cho, don't forget the very important rules. Okay. Aww. <laughs> uh, no problem, Plex. I'm gonna name him Spotty. I love my new pet, Spotty the Moki Cho. I love my pet. I love my pet, pet, pet. Do, do. Yes, you do.
heidi hody My name is Mark. Today we're gonna draw a cute little guinea pig. First, we draw the guinea pig's head. They have ears that stick up. Kind of. Like this. Little eyes. And they got cute little eyes and a nose and cute little whiskers. Next, we draw his hairy body. Just like so. Finally, the legs and paws. Guinea pigs have short legs and they have itty bitty paws. Short leg, itty bitty paw. Well, there you have it. A lovely, wonderful guinea pig. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Hey there, little buddy. <laughs> well, well, well. Looks like I have a new pet guinea pig. Thanks for drawing with us. See you all next time. What's that? <laughs> Flash was just telling me how much Fufa loves her new Mokicho pet. We sure hope she's following all the important rules of pet care. Let's see what she's doing. Where did all these monkey chos come from? I'm hatching more. Fufa, you're not following the rules. You should only have one monkey cho. It's difficult to take care of so many. Oh, really? I forgot. <laughs> oh, dear. Fufa, where is Spuddy? <laughs> Spotty is being bouncy because you haven't given him enough love and hugs. You're right. I was so busy making more Moki Chos, I forgot about Spotty. Uh, Fufa, another rule was to only feed Moki Chos their special Moki Cho food. But look, the new Moki Chos are eating raisins, and now they have tummy aches. Uh. Wow, what's, what's happening? happening? Fufa, why is your pet bouncing around and swinging on vines? Oh. Yeah, and why are there so many monkey shows now? Oh no. Guys, I'm sorry. I didn't follow the rules of pet care and now all the monkey shows are going crazy. Can you help me, please? Yeah, Fufa, we'll all help and fix it. Together! Yes, together we can help. That's what friends are for. What are friends for? dance friend is today! Oh. Whoa! Wow. Hey, everybody. My name's Rob. Hi, Rob! And these are my two beautiful Ooh. bulldogs, Meaty and Beefy. Oh. Oh. Hi! Hi! 
I've got a great dancey dance. Can I teach you? Yeah! <gasps> My dancey dance is called the Roly Poly, and it goes like this. First, you roll your hands to the side. Roll your hands to the side. Then your hands to the other side. Hands to the other side. Then you roll your whole body in a circle. Roll in a circle! And that's the Roly Poly. Oh. All right, let's all try it together. Okay. Here we go. Roll to the side, roll to the other side. Roll it, roll it. Roll to the side, roll to the other side. Roll it, roll it. Roll to the side, roll to the other side. Roll it, roll it. All right, you got it. Now it's your turn. Go crazy. Thanks for letting me teach you my dancey dance. But I gotta go. Aww. Hey, Plex, can you get Beefy and Meaty and Me out of here? Yes, I can. Ha <laughs> ha. Here we go. Bye. 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 But it looks like she really has her hands full, taking care of so many pets all by herself. Oh, it's the feeding time alarm. Time to eat, everyone. Oh, is everything okay? Yeah, we heard a noise. Oh, hi, guys. Sorry, that's just the feeding time alarm. It helps me remember when to feed all the monkey chose. But it is too much work to take care of all of them by yourself. Aw, hi there. Hey there, Fuzzy. <laughs> I like this monkey cho. <laughs> I know. Broby, Tootie, Muno. How would you like to keep one of these as your own Mokicho pet? Oh, yeah! <laughs> but Fufa, why are you giving them to us? Well, I still love them all, but they all need special friends like you guys to help take care of them. And then I'll have more time to spend with Spotty. Great idea, Fufa. But wait. You have to promise to follow all the rules of pet care. We promise, Lufa! Yeah! yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is a promise to my pet. I'll feed you twice a day. I promise to follow the rules every single day. A promise is a promise and a promise I keep. I can depend on you. You can depend on me. Hugs to the end, cause we are best friends. Hugs to the end, cause we are Flash, what have you got to say about that? I want to mochi Cho too, DJ Lance. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Sophie. I like to dance. Hey everyone! The Super Music Friends Show is on! You know, we all love our pets. So let's sing along with Taking Back Sunday. There are many different kinds of pets we have as friends. Let's sing about them all and the things that make them special.
and dancing to music is awesome! Story time! Once upon a time, there was a boy named Clyde who had a pet dog named Harry. They were best friends and they would spend all Day together. They would play fetch together. They would go on walks together. They would nap together. They would even go on car rides together. Then one day, Clyde had to go to school for the very first time. On the car ride to school, Clyde's parents explained that Harry could not go to school with him. Clyde and Harry were sad. They wanted to be together all day. When Clyde got out of the car, he hugged Harry one last time and said, Bye bye, Harry, I'll miss you. Harry barked <laughs> and licked Clyde's cheek, which cheered Clyde up. That day during school, Clyde thought about Harry a lot and drew a picture of him. It was such a nice picture that the teacher gave him a gold star. And everyone cheered, yay! After school was over, Clyde showed his drawing to Harry. Harry liked it so much he barked, ran in circles, and did a big jump for joy. The end. It's almost time to go. Aww. But first, let's remember all the fun things we did today. Okay. First, Fufa got a new pet called a Magic Mokicho. I love my new pet, Spotty the Mokicho. Then, when Fufa didn't follow the rules, the Mokichos got a little too wild. Finally, everyone helped Fufa and got their own pets. I promise to my pet, I will always follow the rules. Today was such a fur-tastic day. Yeah! Now it's time to dance. Yeah! Are you ready? Yeah! Well, let's do it. I'll break it down. So much fun today! Yeah! Thanks for playing with us. See you next time. Bye! Here we go. Yo! Yeah!